from the Hitching Post Vineyard. It's going to tell us, what, what, so what's the funnest thing about the, the wine industry right now? What, what, what keeps you going? You know, every vintage is a new vintage. We're like little kids every year making wine. And it keeps us young. It keeps us challenged. We're still just 30 years into this, and we learn something new every year. So there's still new wines to learn and make. And get, giving something to the people that they enjoy year in, year out. And it's the winemaking that challenges and uh, creating something. Yeah. I mean, every year is a new, a new wine, and you're only as good as the last vintage. Ryan Zlatovich, here, what's, what's the most challenging thing about uh, pulling in two, uh, two varietals at the same time, with, or growing as a winemaker? Basically, you kind of have to juggle tank space. Like, for me, fortunately, like, we have Chardonnay. Well, we have Pinot Noir come in, and then about halfway through Pinot Noir, you got Chardonnay coming in. So you have to kind of juggle your tank space, make room for it. And then that goes to bed, and you put it away. And then we've got DNA shortly thereafter, and then Syrah. So it's like bam, 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 bam. You just have to stage it, you know, yeah. time you're picking. And hopefully everything decides to ripen nice and evenly. But when it doesn't, and everything comes in all at once, it's a bit of a challenge. And I like your comment about you want to get everything in before uh, Thanksgiving, right? Would, yeah, I would like you say my wines to be done before Thanksgiving. And not dealing with wine? Would you say not, not? I don't want to deal with wine during Christmas. Like, I don't want to pull fruit in in November, you know. I do have Syrah out in San Marino, but I try to pick it, like, around you, November 15th. You, oh, there's you mentioned some people like even in the Santa Rita. Uh, yeah, there's a couple guys out there doing Grenache that are picking after, after Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Wow. And it's like, it's, it's awesome. kind of, it's, it's late, but it need, Grenache needs that in order to get right. The game right. really does need that time. Cool. Cool. The winemaker Dimitri Sellers. And we were just, uh, just, are there things that people can do now in the vineyards? With respect to uh, balance or, or balance, making balanced wines that you yourself are a big fan of. Yeah, well, I think uh, I think canopy management has been uh, the big downfall of it. Wow. I think, uh, vertical shoot positioning uh, has led to this naked fruit zone idea. In France or Italy, the only place that looks like that is a Bordeaux. Wow. And you I mentioned that. Much more you did, but perhaps. Yeah. yeah and, you actually, and you actually mentioned that quote-unquote vegetal characteristic yeah. is a problem in cab or Bordeaux yeah, blends, but perhaps not. Perhaps not. You know, I think the way the wines are made there or made in Beaujolais or Burgundy, you know, there is a vegetal component to the wines, so and it makes the wines really attractive to me. That's right. Uh, and as far as you know, with eating with food or in anything, it adds a little bit more interest. But, uh, you know, I guess. it's a plant. Yeah, it right. It should be something. I mean, Coca-Cola culture. You right, know? I totally. <laughs> so, that's, so that's what everybody wants. Yeah, Coca-Cola. We're a culture grow, grown up on soft drinks and, and things like yeah. that, whereas old world cultures uh, are not. Uh, they're, exactly. they're, they have, uh, i.e., have more wine in their culture to begin with, yeah. and less sweet. But that green characteristic that's interesting for food and wine, I also feel that that adds an interesting element to the evolution of a wine. When that evolves as a secondary, Absolutely. I find that fascinating Absolutely. No, component I, of wine. I, 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 I think that adds a whole different nuance to the wine. Right. Mean, there's nothing interesting about drinking grape juice <laughs> concentrate. You know? That should be my motto, Dimitri, or not all concentrate. Yeah, 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 that's awesome. I fell in love with you the first time I looked into them eyes, and you have a certain